We talking shit, baby. We talking shit, we talking shit, baby. We talking shit, we talking shit, we talking shit, baby. We talking shit, we talking shit, we talking shit, baby. We talking shit, we talking shit, we talking shit, baby. Yes, sir. Talking Shop, episode 132, presented by Anchor. I'm your host, Bobby Hall, and with me, as always, my co-hosts, Dylan Lasevich and Joe the Greek. Gentlemen, how are we doing this week? I'm alive still. Yeah. We're on the right side of the grass. Yeah, that's great. Me too, man. And you know why? I've started taking I've, I'm taking some gummy vitamins because, you know, <laughs> they're just better than the pill form, I guess. And I started taking some fish, some fish oil pills. Yeah. So, and I'm feeling a little better to be honest. And I feel like if if I put in like one percent effort in like diet and exercise, <laughs> your boy gonna be looking like Brock Lesnar. Okay. Wow. Oh. And sensitive. Let's go. One percent. I mean, we can all have gonna be looking man. like a fucking sequoia tree. So, um, <laughs> we're on the right path with with what? the vitamins. <laughs> Heart, low heart health, low, low immune system boost, you know. So, um, I'm gonna be turning the big three three next week. So you gotta gotta get that shit in order. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're about Say to goodbye to your knees. Yeah, those those <laughs> started to go. Those started to go a few years back, but we're all right. We're we're doing all right. But I got I got one. Yeah, man. Go. Another work week down. Another cold ass week, but it did get a little warmer towards the end of the week. Of course. It had to rain those days, so it was just a big mess. Pretty cool, but, right? And then today's back to freezing, so everything's just back to being a sheet of it's ice. But that's a warm 23 man, degrees. That's a pile for you. Well, that's I mean, the sad, sad thing, week. yeah. You, you come into February, and you're like, damn, it's going to be 27. Now. I think I might just go with a hoodie today instead of <laughs> Carhartt and you know Long John's. So, yeah, a couple weeks ago, we had a real balmy you know, 43 out or something. I'm Maybe I'll start the shorts. Again. <laughs> yeah, I've already have been. Right. Uh, I don't know and if it's because I'm you know, warm or white trash. Not sure yet. <laughs> Do you know those no, people fair, that just wear team shorts all year round? Like no matter what the weather is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> a good buddy of mine. Yeah, they're juggalos. Is out there juggalos, right? <laughs> yeah, they're definitely juggalos. <laughs> Gym yeah. shorts, no matter what. And then, Hatchet you know, man tattoo is. and line for a fago. For, for sure, some sort of John Cena merch, but yeah, those are your people, man. Wrestlers. Yeah, well, yeah, well. Speaking so, of wrestling, I, I did want to bring this up real quick that I didn't bring up a couple weeks ago when I was at Charlie's. We did have a conversation because WWE was in Toledo a few weeks ago, and uh, we saw the trailers out by the rest station, and we had a conversation. Someone that, that was at also Charlie's house watching the UFC fights uh, mentioned that. They thought that's how like the wrestlers were traveled to location. Like they, they thought like they were cattle. The <laughs> like they put them in a trailer like cattle. <laughs> you just have like fucking layers of cots inside the trailers or something. Like yeah, that. maybe like the lower end guys. Yeah, so yeah. The, new, the newer. There you go. We're <laughs> we're going to Louisville. Yeah. Hop in. <laughs> yeah, your yeah. cot number twenty three. Wow. Hop in. I thought that was a hilarious moment though, but just made me think of that when you brought up WWE. Don't hang out with that person anymore. I, mean, I have to assume <laughs> it's probably after you sparked you. some kind of bowl of <laughs> oregano, huh? Yeah. It was something. That's that's a wild thought. That'd be crazy. But anyway, um, I don't even. Yeah. Yeah, sorry to derail really that. That. Yeah, that was that was great. Do we know who that thoughts. person is? No, first time I met him. It was, in, it was a friend of Charlie. So I mean, oh, okay. I've been Charlie for a while. So one of the golfing buddies. Oh, okay. Yeah. Makes a little more sense, I guess. Wild. Anyway. But long um, crazy. For yeah, you yeah, because like you're on that you're on that fucking truck dock, dude. So at least I get to sit in like my truck that I drive. But being in that truck dock's gotta be insane during the, this time of year. Especially when there's any kind of like wind wind chill, because you're probably getting every bit of that. Yeah, I've got about a sixty door dock and uh Maybe forty of them are broken, so they don't close. So it's just like once the trailers oh, leave, cool. it's just it's all. I, it's all I, I do not miss that there. shit, dude. Do not miss that. Yeah, like you know, like in first companies explaining the rain. That's how I feel with the snow. It just comes from sideways, up, down, from everywhere. They've been keeping the soups on deck or whatever, like you were saying. 
in the thermos. Hundred percent, yes, dude. That's I big. would have never thought like these. What? It's it's like already pre-made like ramen cups, noodle cups. They're probably like twenty five cents at the store individually. Maybe two bucks for a twenty four pack. Oh, splurging, and, huh? Well, maybe not in inflation times now. It's probably like hundred bucks. But what I'm saying <laughs> is, you just put hot water in it for three minutes. Boom, you got it. Nice like little artificial vegetables in there. Have you considered asking like someone from management to just toss one in your face as some sort of like warming, <laughs> you know, coping mechanism? Like Absolutely a, not. No. Soup bukkake. I, I would just, just eat that, and they yeah. they have the hot cocoa on deck as well. So incredible, yeah. incredible. Compared to because you, you worked for that same company just in a different area, and it was like the complete opposite treatment. So that's it's wild, man. Wild Don't there, talk, way man, down there, down terrible. south, in Dayton. Down south. <laughs> Don't talk bad about my Toledo people. You do too. So what are you talking about? <laughs> it's different. Blood made. Hundred percent. But boys, uh, episode one thirty two. We got we got a real big one. We've been excited yes. about this one for uh, for a few weeks now. So I think we might as well uh, bring the guests on. What do you think? Hundred percent excited. Um, like I had told you guys before, um, probably about four years ago, maybe five now, um. On Facebook, at one point, a friend of mine, shout out to uh, Nick Elkert. He had posted, I think maybe because he got a shout out in the episode. I think that's why he posted it. But um, it was these two guys that were doing like a food review um, in Toledo. So initially, I thought they were just kind of like Toledo based food review guys. And they were doing, I think, I remember one of them being Nettie's and one of the other hot dog joints around here. Um, and I just remember enjoying the the content itself, just the way it was filmed. Um I have an idea of who I think might be an influence. We'll have to find out. I'll have to ask. But I um, <laughs> kind of just followed suit, followed the channel, been watching. These guys post Monday through Friday every single week, which is nuts. Like, not you don't even see that really anymore, especially like the big dogs. Most of those guys these days will throw one out like once every six months, you know, if that. But these guys are just hammering it out, especially during like part one, I guess we'd call it, of, of COVID times. They were still, uh, they were still making it happen. Uh -huh. So, um, very stoked to have these guys on. They're busy, so um, we're very appreciative of the time. But today, for episode 132, um, we've got Corey Wagner and Sean Ely of Number Six with Cheese. Gentlemen, thank you very much for coming on and giving us some of your very little free time. We appreciate it. How are we doing? Doing great, man. Thanks for having us on, guys. Yeah. Yes, yes. Um, Those are all ours. I was, exactly. We reached out to the uh, the, the Instagram um which is, I guess, ran by your guys' manager. Or I don't know if you guys all share the the we'll account. Kind of he's the one. That, yeah, well, he's the one that talked to us back. Well, so, well be. yeah, he's a G um, man. We love yeah, <laughs> very professional emailer, I will say. So, <laughs> 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 yeah. killer at that shit. Yeah, That's why we need to be like that because we're a couple of doofuses, bro. We can't. <laughs> That's how I was, I was telling these guys. Like, I was just kind of talking to him <laughs> back, like as if we were just text messaging, and every message. He would like greet me and you know, <laughs> salute me on the way out. And, well, he's the yeah, man, so bro. I was like, he's great, but he, and it's funny because like when the way he emails, I kind of feel like I picture him in a suit, yeah. but he's totally not that guy. He's like going on. Yeah, because I've seen him in some of your guys' videos and stuff. You know, I was yeah, like, yeah. I, so I kind of know of him a little bit, but yeah, uh, uh, via email, it's just like, man, I feel like I needed like a top hat, monocle, <laughs> yeah. nine, so he's basically yeah. He he emails like he's the Monopoly guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> yeah. but no he he set it up and uh you know we're, we're real thankful for it for it so um i these guys these guys watch you as well um mm -hmm. but i kind of just got them hip recently but yeah i've been with you on the ride for at least like four or five years now so yeah um, shout it's out pretty, been yeah, pretty I, fun I, I went to high school with that kid oh really okay yeah i don't you went to my stretch wife, my wife gave me a little eye nod when i was like you know she's like oh yeah because i think he must have been younger it was he your grade yeah, he was younger than me, so I don't know if I knew him all that well, but oh younger. So he was a freshman when I was a senior, but he was a yeah, stretch guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cause I used to work with him actually over there. Um we used to work at the old French Quarter Hotel in Perrysburg. Oh no we, kidding. I think we my bus tables together. dad or uncle or something. My dad worked there, my brother worked there. I yeah, dude, there. that's like a family business over here. <laughs> yeah, Everybody was, was, it was the place was a relic and it, I mean they they knocked it down and it kind of sucks. It's like, damn. But as soon as they announced that they're gonna be putting like a raisin canes, I'm like all right, well, I'm all right. Or that's the truth, bro. Yeah, that raisin cane sauce is no joke. Cane sauce, yeah. Baby. So I'm, I'm all, I'm all in on it. So 
no doubt. But um, yeah, man. Like like I was saying um earlier, when I watched the videos, it kind of seemed like there was like a bit of uh like some Casey Neistat influence <laughs> as far as like the way some of the contents recorded yeah. and stuff. Um, is 100%. that am I kind of right in that assumption? You're right. dead on. He's dead on, dude. And so like, what's kind of funny about that is when I so I'm not like I wasn't really into the YouTube stuff like. I made sketch videos and stuff like that, but in terms of like really watching like YouTube type of content, didn't really, that wasn't part of my like content digesting shit, right? So when we start making these videos with Sean, all these people are commenting like, you guys are basically ripping off Casey Neistat. And I'm getting all pissed off. I'm like, I don't even know who Casey Neistat is. So how can I be ripping him off, you little jerk loss? I was getting all chapped about it. And I was like, I got to look this guy up. And now I'm addicted to Casey Neistat. It's like my favorite. He's a person. man. Him, yeah, his he's brothers incredible. make such cool videos. But I used to get real chapped when people would say that because I literally didn't know who I was. And then I watched the whole <laughs> video and I was like, oh, yeah, no, we are totally doing this. We're doing this yeah. shit in the yeah. world. I was like, yeah, Which is cool. I, I mean, that, that's a cool way to like kind of record content, man. It's, it's different it's from like the usual. I come up with that. Like the idea of yeah. like food reviewers before, like they, it was just so trash. Like them just putting their cell phones up on a, like the, their <sighs> car, no editing, just like. And I feel like Sean just saw, uh, what if I took the Casey Neistat style of editing and applied it and made it's like so much more fast paced, so much more entertaining. It takes more yeah. of a workload, but it's such yeah. a smart melding of like content of like, dude, we can totally upgrade the food content that is currently out there for like fast food reviews with someone who's making way better content. If we put that together, like, let's see what happens. And people reacted to it obviously very well. They like mm-hmm. were drawn to it like flies of light or whatever yeah i, I like it it's, it's cool <laughs> just kind of putting your, your phone right there on the dash go put your camera a block away from where you're walking out and then walk out yeah, yeah. stop recording go grab your camera like it just looks cooler that way i love the drone yeah. footage who's flying the drone uh yeah that was me that was another thing we did was like i just got really into the cinematography angle obviously and then Corey and i kind of love like synced up on like what if we combined all these things into it kind of thing you know so like filming videos and then parking the car, flying the drone, getting back in the car, like putting way more effort into yeah. it than we needed to. <laughs> really just our travel. We don't do that so much for like our local stuff. Not anymore, yeah. Like when we were traveling, like going to Toledo and stuff, it's like, let's go to all the high schools and get some of their like cool football fields with the drone. Yeah. And, like, and it adds so much. And people love it, I feel like. Like I know if I like went to Central and saw someone flying over my football field, I'd be like, yo, who are these guys? This yeah. is pretty sick. It was like a way to kind of draw into the field. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? That's so awesome. We were doing it, we were doing it yeah. way before drones were good enough to be doing it. Like we were flying like the GoPro drone over like oh. Whitner, and I was like, "This thing is not a great drone. <laughs> like it could very easily crash." <laughs> um, so it was like, yeah. So like we used to do that a lot, and then in the like even in the fast food reviews. So it was like yeah, the, the satire of it too. Originally was my whole thing was like fast food doesn't need to be reviewed. Like the whole reason there's not fast food, like food shows is because like anybody for a dollar can go get it. But what if we treated it like it was caviar? It was like, you know what I mean? Like sure, yeah. Yeah. we gave yeah, this it's... full production to a McChicken, you know? And I was like, yeah, there's something funny. <laughs> yeah. there. And that's, that's exactly what happens. You'll take that, that fucking camera of yours, the HD camera, and you'll pick up every speck of, batter and seasoning on the, oh, yeah, on the fast food frozen patties and it's i mean it's it's great though that's what i think that's what keeps me coming back too so i think um you definitely keep that rolling there um but for the people out there that uh, aren't necessarily familiar with what you guys do i know that you guys said i think it was like 2015 you guys met up um down over there in chicago um kind of i guess give the people the the rundown of what who came up with the idea of starting to do reviews and, and kind of what the plan was, you know, from there. Take it away. Yeah. So yeah, Corey and I met at Second City, which is like where people come to Chicago to learn sketch comedy and improv, where like Steve Carell and I mean Tina Fey, every legend you've probably ever heard of yeah, came Bill here. Murray, Chris so, Farley. Like, yeah. So, so yeah. Corey and I came here to do that and we did that. And we were in the same class of you know, kids at the time going through it. I mean, in my twenties, I still consider myself a kid, you know? And so we, we met up and, um, kind of just like had little comedy crushes on each other. And Corey was like, you know, look, I got this MTV, uh, what was it like a reality show audition that we should submit for called dire consequences, where it was like two best friends, like basically like do a rock, paper, scissors. And the loser has to blend a ham sandwich. 
and drink it. And they were trying to, you know, very MTV comedy. Yeah, the concept is like, what yeah. if these really small games that shouldn't have any like huge impact, like rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. But what if the impact was rather than like just whatever, some dumb bet, you got to do something disturbing. Yeah. Like eat a spider or blend a ham sandwich or right. whatever it is, you know? So we did that. So Corey came over. It's like the first time we ever hung out outside of like going to class really together. And we, we filmed this audition tape and submitted it. And after that, just started kind of making some, like a few sketches together. Mm -hmm. One of our favorite videos we've ever made. Remember when Pokemon Go was like all the rage? It's huge, yeah. Oh, yeah. We made a Pokemon dad sketch where what if you were trying to find your biological father? <laughs> yeah, like what if, you, um, what if your dad was a deadbeat dad and you needed to capture him with a Pokeball in order to have a loving relationship? <laughs> I, mean, I don't know if you can tell, but I didn't know my dad growing up. So it's like a, oh, yeah. a few line of my life is making bits about it. So yeah, we did this fun Pokemon dad sketch and then. Yeah, and then I, I had been like, I was way into the YouTube world. I was doing like kind of more Daniel Tosh, like John Stewart commentary style videos where I'd like take stuff in the news and do like very talking head stuff. But I was like obsessed with the fact that the food review world had an audience that was so committed to people going and filming in their cars. And I like, I'm a big food dude. Like I love fast food and I love like stuff like that. So I was like, what if, it, when Corey and I were making videos, like what if we did that concept, but made it look really good and did it in our style. And we have this comedy background and all that stuff. So we did one video, we did the Burger King mac and cheetos there you go on the first episode it got way more interaction than i thought it would have gotten so we kind of just like you know how it is if something sticks you try it again and then oh my god people came back more people came let's try it again so one video turned into Snowball. two videos a week then it was three videos and now we're at 1425 episodes that's crazy yeah so that's really the that's how it was born was just like it just snowballed like it was an idea for a one-off and now six years later, we're doing this every day yeah. of the week. <laughs> if it's after fourteen hundred videos, do you find it hard to find anything new? I mean, like any new yeah. food, like any food wise, anything? no, only because they keep coming out with stuff. Yeah, there's always new food, but yeah. sometimes I find it hard to have a new take. Like I'm like, bro, didn't I say all this stuff before? Yeah, like Yo, you know, another hot dog. Wow. <laughs> yeah, dude. Sometimes I get like that. Yeah. But there's definitely always new food. They're always coming out with new stuff, which is wild. Yeah. And we also like have our content all sparsed out. We're like not only doing fast food. We do fast food one day a week, two days a week. We do local Chicago reviews. Then we have like a hot sauce segment. We've got like a uh, frozen food segment. So, so we mix it up a lot. So that kind of keeps it fresh too. That's good. That keeps the options wide open then. You know? Yeah, there's a lot. It never runs It never runs out. Like it's it's almost to the point where people would, if we could do more content, people would watch it. But like for our sanity, keeping it at five yeah. days. Our sanity <laughs> and our uh, cost yeah. right. so levels in our bank accounts. Yeah. yeah. You time. Sure. Mm -hmm. Um. Now, one of my favorite, like, long-running bits now these days is is the the tomato frisbee that, uh, you know, Corey, that's that's basically your thing now, man. I don't really know when it started, but obviously I've seen – Probably the first were, tomato were I saw. Crushing, yeah. you. <laughs> crushing you in the comments. So, obviously, um, you know, if you guys know this guy is, he's going to not – he's going to go the opposite way of how you want him to go. So, as soon as people were sh giving shit in the comments, he just started flinging these motherfuckers every, every time. And it's awesome. Right? And, 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 Funny thing is, is, like most people are just like, dude, order without. But obviously, <laughs> to to throw you know the cherry on top of everything, you're just gonna order as is. Because really, when you when you review it anyway, I think people want to kind of see it in its natural, you know, you know, setup. Right, so, how um, yeah, yeah. How far into that was was when you did you start doing that? Because that's, that's Bro, just, I've, I've been getting rid of tomatoes since the day I was born. <laughs> the first time we reviewed some of the tomatoes, I was like, well, try, get this the hell off my sandwich. And then, like you said, as soon as people started getting mad at me in the comments, how dare you? How dare you litter a tomato? Then I'm like, well, now I have to keep doing this because you guys are dumb as hell if you think that a tomato is littering, bro. Yeah, like, who cares? Yeah, right? So now I just couldn't wait to do it just to troll. I'm just trolling and pissing off all these little internet nerds sitting in their mom's basement <laughs> getting all hella mad about me throwing a tomato out the window. So it just brings it. me so much joy sometimes. Just <laughs> like a rapper, I get it. A tomato? <laughs> Come on, right? Yeah, dude. I'm just returning it. it back to home, man. It was from the Yeah, that's right. I'm feeling very <laughs> right home, man. These Chicago rats need a little food, too, man. I feel bad yeah, for these 100%. guys. They're out there having to eat dog turds. I got to give them a little fresh tomato. Got to get some fruit in their life. <laughs> Without a doubt. 
How did you? Um, because you're you're the you're the captain of the ship, man. How how did you become like the driver of of, of the entire series? Oh, basically, Sean I mean, I know Sean's done it a few times. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. no, that's a long running bit because people ask that in the comments all the time, and every time I try to get to that comment first before Sean does, yeah. and respond that he's got too many DUIs to drive. <laughs> but the reality is, is that when we first started making these videos, he just didn't have a car. Mm -hmm. And mm, I'm in fact, okay. I didn't have a car either. Oh, my wife, girlfriend at the time had a car, but we had a whip between the two of us. So I just started driving, you know, my wife's car. And then that just kind of became the, the thing. It's right? also so funny that like, if the internet for enough times in a row sees you not driving, they assume you cannot drive. Yeah. Oh yeah. They totally don't <laughs> yeah. think that at this point, they're like convinced that Sean, like when he's in a car, they're kind of like, Whoa, I didn't know he knew how to do that. Like what? And also, it, on, like, another part of it, too, is, like, Sean's just so much better with the camera. And also, it was his camera out the gates. Like, now yeah. we both have DSLRs, but for the longest time, that was his camera. And he's just more well-suited. He's got, like, a steadier hand. He's used it a thousand times more than me. So, I'm driving. He's getting the cinematography. It, like, that also is a big part of it, too, like, to get, like, to the nuts and bolts of it. That's I love the shtick of it. Like, I love it's, the fact yeah, that, like, we each have our niche and also, like, you know, most food reviewers do it by themselves. So, like, when you have somebody who can do all that stuff that's not – driving to the restaurant like you know what i mean it opens up a whole it's like a man it's almost like having a crew if you had your own show you yeah. know what i mean so like it it we get like way more opportunities because there's two of us honestly yeah that makes a lot of sense um are there any episodes because obviously at some point you had to run into just a nightmare ass you know such scenario or situation <laughs> maybe with a restaurant or you know why you guys are recording some rando you know pillhead runs up on you guys like has there been is there any videos out there that had to be like completely scrapped because of something like that we keep it in yeah we just keep it in like the only we've scrapped one uh the only one we've scrapped is like i told a story about a friend that she's like a phd student she's like every time oh, yeah. i google my name this fucking video comes up and the story is not like gonna help her get a job as a scientist so she's like can you pull that up like, yeah bro we got 1400 videos we don't care but we'll keep in like we had uh like the dead the grateful dead was they were probably at wrigley or uh dead and co was at wrigley and so all these little wooks come around uh smelling like trash asking for drugs and they're just congregating around the neighborhood and we were out filming somewhere and just this nasty little rat headed little cracker comes up to the windows like hey y'all know where to get some acid and we're like what and yeah, it's just like, so we do have these like random videos where people are like, yeah, yeah, you know how to get some acid. As a matter of fact, the guy, Sean goes, what? And I go, he goes, acid. Do you, do you know about acid? I'm like, well, are you looking to buy some or sell some? Because I'll buy some. I got cash on you right now. And he's like, well, I want to buy some. Oh, bro, I can't help you there. I ain't got nothing to sell, my guy. When you find it, let me know. Yeah, let me know, bro. Yeah. So we've had. You can always make another channel doing that. <laughs> yeah. That was like probably the most random. <laughs> yeah, we had a security guard come up on us and like, you know, at night, we had a night shoot. We put lights up, so he thought we were probably banging in there or something. Like, yeah, something bang. Like thought, they thought the bang <laughs> bus came to the north side of Chicago. And then, and then Corey through the window was like, we do food reviews, and the security guard on the spot subscribed to the channel. Yeah, he was cool as hell. Oh, yeah, there you go. No, that That's was cool. Weird. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> I don't think there's any more no, I, story. No, we like it's normally pretty tame. Like we we honestly fly pretty under the radar with a lot of the stuff we do. Every once in a while there's like funny stuff, but like you'd be surprised. It's pretty chill. Like we had a homeless guy one time. He was digging through the trash to get food and we had a, we just ate pizza and we we're so stuffed. I'm like, "Bro, let me go give this guy some pizza, bro. He looks like he's having a rough go at it, man." So I try to get he's he's digging through the trash for food. And I'm like, "Hey, bro, you want some pizza?" He's like Bro, did I ask for pizza? I don't want no damn. I'm like, all right, man. <laughs> all right. Crash food then. Like, oh, I have a tomato about a block and a half back if you want to get that. Yeah. Raccoons and spirit. I said a dollar, <laughs> bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that was hilarious. Was, he did not want it. He's not a pizza fan. Yeah. Oh. I seen him walking around with his dick out about a month and a half later. <laughs> I was like, bro, there's <laughs> kids in this neighborhood. You got to get somewhere, guy. Oh. There's a school nearby, man. Come on. <laughs> yeah. What are you yeah. doing? Yeah. Hog, though. I was impressed. I couldn't Big believe hog, it. Yeah. Jeez. It was cold. Okay. <laughs> wow. Dylan, it looked like you were you were getting ready to, to ask something there. So go ahead. Oh, yeah. I was just going to say that I've noticed that you guys get some care packages um, at times you guys open before you review, uh, now would that tamper you think anything as far as like your, your genuine review of the product? Um, or, uh, if it doesn't, do you think that it ever would? 
we have like the sponsored stuff where like that we were you know you have to like contractually <laughs> contractually it's like yo right, 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 right. Right. although we have before like we like super early on it wasn't really like we weren't getting paid for it but we did like kind of a sponsored gig we were getting free food from Cadoba and the food was trash and i'm really bad at like i, I hate I'm you not have no filter bullshit. you have no filter. i have no filter i'm not trying to bullshit my audience ever i'm always trying to give it how That's it good. is yeah. and i slayed them i was like bro these are they were nachos they were so soft like soggy nachos are gross and i was going in on them and then they wouldn't like part of the deal they were supposed to share our content we were kind of like yeah cool Cadoba's gonna share us and I remember Sean, like a week later, was like, bro, what's up with Cadoba? They won't share that video. I'm emailing them and they're ghosts. And I'm like, bro. I mean, wonder why. The things I said <laughs> about their food, my I didn't think it was that bad. Then I went back to watch it. And I was like, oh, man, yeah. okay, I get it. But we're pretty good at it, like, not affecting us. No, because most stuff we open is, like, from fans for the most part. You know what I mean? Like, any, like, the care packages and, like, okay. that kind of stuff is 90% of the time from, like, a fan who's excited. And yeah. most of the time, too, like, when it comes nice. to sponsored stuff, we've been pretty lucky. Like, A, we're really easy to please. We're not snobby about food. So like if it's greasy and it, it's like, we're going to like food. We, we're not the type where like turn our nose up to much of anything. And we've been lucky that every sponsored like group that we've worked with is generally been like fire food that we're like, yeah, yeah of course we're going to say this is great. It's dope. You know? And like yeah. the only other sponsored gigs we've had are shit that like, I don't care. It's like, I don't care one way or another. Like we did something for root car insurance. I don't like it's car insurance. What do I care one way or another? It's like, it's not hard for me to be like, yeah, this car insurance is dope. I don't, I don't care about car insurance. I'm not going to find car insurance bad anyways. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so we've actually been pretty lucky about it. Yeah, but I think so. Most of comes to shove, we'll, we'll trash on it if it's not good. I'll tell someone like, bro, I can't, I literally can't take your money because this stuff isn't good. I don't. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, Cause it's once you start lying to your audience, I feel like if they stop trusting you, why are they tuning in? Yeah. Yeah, I'd much rather so, have them, like believe and like be like, oh, these people are honest. And we've had people tell us before, like, we like you guys because you will shit on stuff that every everyone else is here. sucking yeah. off because it's like a big brand or whatever. It's like, we're not going to do that. We don't, I mean, I don't care enough to do that. Let's say that. like Hunts or Red Gold comes at you guys with the bag, but you got a review of their canned tomatoes. I mean, you're going to, you're going to be able to do yeah, that. You're going to be able to put gosh. yourself through the gauntlet or what? What's well? Hold on, Bobby. What's the what's the price tag? <laughs> yeah, here's that's what, what I'm doing. saying. If they if they come with the bag, but it's yeah, just, talks, Corey's got to come out and say, you know, that. these tomatoes are just incredible. And Use it in cooking. Eat them right out the can. My trick is, I just go. I go. All right, Sean. How about everything that talks about the food? You say it, and I'll just be there to say funny stuff. And I'm just gonna keep my mouth <laughs> shut about go. the taste. And yeah. then Sean will usually. He's like better. He's got like more of an open palate. I'm a little more like opinionated and kind of an asshole about things. It's a good yin and yang. It's yeah. a good yin and yang. So sure. if something's like yeah, bad, I'd agree with that. Like Sean will be like, yeah, yeah, I don't mind. It's pretty good. And I'll be like, I'm just gonna be quiet. Over it there. really works because like you know we like come from the same upbringing of like you know like back from Toledo and Detroit and like we love comedy, but we're so different. Mm -hmm. So like truly when good it comes when it comes out like nobody wants to watch two of the same person in a food. Yeah, just a big old circle jerk. <laughs> like you need you need the like holding each other accountable and kind of like you want us to have two different like I, that's one reason why I think it works. There's like 100%. kind of a straight man funny man bit going, but it can reverse sometimes. I don't know. Like to me, it's just it's fresh, you know, it's yeah. a fun thing. So yeah, I would be very like hosty in that. And Corey would be like, tomatoes are the devil's dick. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess I still am poor enough that someone offered me enough. If I'm being honest, I probably would say something good. That's true. <laughs> I'm poor, bro. If, I, if someone gave me enough, I'd be like, yeah, bro, fucking mushrooms are tits, bro. I love mushrooms. Like whatever. Well, you brought up car insurance earlier. You think the actress that plays flow car insurance is sitting around fantasizing about car yeah. insurance. Like it's, you're an actor for a paid well, gig, but that's know? different though. Cause those are acting gigs. Yeah. But those sponsor gigs because, are still commercials a little bit. I know, but it's tough mm -hmm. because our content isn't, we're not like her name also isn't flow. That's a good point. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> I'm Corey on that show. That's so a good I point. I have to represent myself. You like, know what? You talked yourself. You're, really you're absolutely acting, right. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Incredible. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, I'm glad you brought up you. You, you are a Midwest boy because we got to air out some grievances, man. Um, unfortunately, because okay, uh -oh. you have you have your own channel and you're doing the Sean's first time trying, right. which has been pretty. Seems to be picking up a lot of steam for you, which is cool. I, I've enjoyed a lot of those videos, but since you're a Midwest boy, middle class guy, some of the stuff that you've been trying for the first time has kind of blew my mind. Like it was <laughs> yeah. last week or two weeks ago, it was Sloppy Joe's. And well, then, man like, the nor yeah, yeah. the nor uh rice packs never heard yeah, of man. Bullshit. Never that heard was like you know why i haven't had a manwich you know my dad 
He buys food. What do you mean? My oh. my dad is my dad would make him from scratch. My the dad's sauce? a butcher. Okay, I guess that. Yeah, all right, yeah. all right. Then that that you know, that's not bad. Yeah, but you went to Joseph. college, bro. I dad never, came to college and paid all your meals for you. I never in my life. <laughs> oh, <goodness. laughs> oh my god! I didn't this have, voice had I mean, manners. I have never. I put my firstborn on it. I would. I would. Um, Put my brother, my best friend, my brother's life on the line. That I never had marriage. I had never. Wow, somebody's gonna die, and that's not. Oh, I'm gonna die. Crazy. When my <laughs> brother has a heart attack tonight. <laughs> a double I, swear. I, I, oh here's God. how you really know. I didn't know manwich was just a sauce. I thought it was everything you needed. Oh, the meat too. Yeah, I had no idea. Yeah, you just uh, had a sauce. Right. Okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. No clue. Yeah, that's no, that makes sense because on the can it shows the meat. And I'm glad I read it. I didn't get home and go, oh, I need some beef. Yeah. So I get what you're saying. A lot of people have been like, you've never had this. We didn't grow up with a lot of money, but my dad was a butcher at Farmer Jack Grocery in Detroit. The only thing we were plentiful in was meat he would bring. Sean's home. an enigma because he like is poor. He tells me he's poor. I, I was. I, I was. I've never factually seen poor. that he's poor. He's always like, I'm for bread. <laughs> It's but, a then poor city. but then he said to me the other day something like, oh, I have a special hot sauce for sushi. Now and I'm I like, do. bro, what? No. He's like half poor, half the richest person I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, I've noticed. He's like, you know, at Michigan State. I'm like, who is this guy? Like, he's an enigma, dude. Yeah, it's a weird. It's a no, weird. 100%. A tweener. A tweener. He's a tweener. He dresses like he's rich, but is dumb like he's poor. <laughs> it, not, like, none of Ow. it makes sense, bro. None of it makes sense. I know that Corey's saying that. That comes from a place of love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay. All right. This that makes me feel a little better because I was watching this. No, I, like, I, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. I thought he was one of us, but yeah, I mean the rice rice packets and like <laughs> potato flakes and oh, shit. Like I was eating that with, with as I sides never, like three of the week. Rice? I never heard K N like the dollar like the dollar rice packets and stuff. Like I used to get, oh, yeah, I, used to, oh, yeah, dude. I would get the um be, Uncle Ben. I would get or like, wow, bro, like go they got the mac like broccoli cheddar macaroni. Yeah, yeah. I don't Steam them. I just pour. I get the ones that are like flavored. You pour them in a pot, put a little bit of water in them, and just yep. stir it until it's. Oh, I would yeah. do the. And then I cut up chicken and throw it in there. Okay, I would do Uncle Ben's yeah. steamer. It's ninety seconds, and it's a dollar. You cut the thing, microwave done. Oh yeah, that's kind of the same. Actually. Yeah, the, but, the but Kroger though is like thirty cents, cents no though. So that okay, yeah. That's, yeah. Kroger brand all day. Oh, See, for I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my dad got a buyout at Kroger and then worked there. We're a Kroger family. That's I good. still use my Kroger number at Mariana's. There you go. Yeah, use it for gas, piss off your parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. Who took my 40 cents? I just did that today, man. Oh, that's yeah. the best, dude. That's so chat. Yeah. So Don't mind if I do. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't get a uh, birthday present one year because I used my mom's Kroger points. Yep, yeah, see, and you yeah. deserved it. Yeah. Wow, that is holy shit. That's the type of stuff where I'm like, he is poor. See, yeah. it like kind of makes it like, yeah, that's mm -hmm. some poor people shit right there. Yeah. yeah. It spills out. It spells out in like drips for sure. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Um, another thing was, uh, Corey, your latest video was it was a lot different than something I've I've seen you do in previous time, which was kind of a cool different setup too. Um, kind of like a little more of like a voiceover type thing, and yeah. um, the message itself was really awesome too. Because I think you know you're right. You'll see, or even if you ask just friends, like when do you think you know the best times of your life were? Ninety nine percent of the time is going to be high school or obviously like college time when we obviously uh, we, we had a little more f freedom, I guess, as far as yeah, like not having to work like full-time jobs and yeah, just basically getting hammered and smoking awful weed and, you know, just, you know <laughs> whatever, really whatever you wanted to do. So, um, but yeah, I think you're right. Like um, even me personally, I, I think life really started to like get better and, and start to like rip in, into my thirties like Lord having a family and just like career wise and stuff. So I think now today, if you're asked the same question, I'd be like you, it's just like, you know, thirties has kind of been is the best and going to kind of keep just kind of projecting up. Weird, so yeah, man. Yeah. Except you got that 33 cup, like you said, bro, your knees are about to be hitting soon. <laughs> That's what yeah. I think there is a downhill, yeah. the downhill coming, the downhill coming, but right now, I'm yeah. Once I, crazy. once I get to that mid thirties, I think, um, then I'll really start to see it's a drop so off. Bad. Just, keep, just keep snagging that fish oil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will. Costco, you know, sell it to me. Eight thousand tablets, you know, a bottle, whatever. I'm, I'm good One to go. So. You might have to get on some of that glutamine as well, Bobby. What's that? So you might have to get on some of that glutamine as well with some joints. It's a good vitamin for okay. joint pain. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I, I will have to do that. But no, man. Um, 
I, I really enjoyed that video too, and and it's kind of cool that like you moved two states over from where you're from, and basically most of your sports system kind of gravitated to where you're at. And I don't think a lot of people can say that kind of stuff. So and a crazy a bunch cool of Toledo cats. Yeah, it's, I just got so lucky, and all within like walking distance around me. Mm -hmm. It's been an unreal. We like hit the jackpot. Is your now because you say your brother just recently moved over there? I mean, is he, is he going to start popping up maybe in a, in a video or two every once in a while? Because the Inkies review. You know, that's that's one of the best videos there is because, I mean, um, it, obviously we're big Inkies guys themselves. Phenomenal food, but on um, the content itself, I mean, Sean, you, you laid it out in there. You 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 really let it. Uh, you really felt it in your chest there when you were when you're singing about uh, the pizza man and um, like yeah, you just, I enjoyed that episode, but that I think awesome. you should definitely get thrown in. I, I Devin know. Devin is my favorite of the twin of the of brothers. He's the best of them. He's it's, so it's much better than if I would have met Devin before Corey, it would have been such a different. It's a fag. He's cool. Dude. <laughs> he's tough. But he's super busy, man, because he's got a career all on his own. He's uh, he sings. He does like opera and acting. Yeah. He moved to Chicago to do that. I barely see the kid. I thought I'd be seeing him all the time. Every time I hit him up, he's like, "Yeah, I got some uh, rehearsals this night. I am hanging out with these. Already got his old friend group here, bro." But he got after it right as soon as he lived here. Yeah, a lot of people kind of wait a second. He just jumped into it. Yeah, he's, you got to love that. But I'm sure we'll be doing stuff. I could see us doing a lot more like uh, sketch comedy, starting to get him involved because he's such a fantastic actor and he's funnier than hell. He's so funny. He's I think he'd be oh, um, a good addition to maybe one of the live shows. Put like. Oh my god. Devin yeah, Devin dude, sings on the wheel. You know, somebody doing yeah, Devin sings your name or something. Yeah, yeah. 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 What's the name, dude? What's it'd be worth name? 100 percent so Yeah, because he can sing his ass off for sure. So Keep it'd be real, worth it for man. sure. Song word of his generation. That's yeah, a fact. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh we'll we'll get a little Toledo talk in, Corey. I mean, as far as uh you know, favorite Toledo spots, why don't you give us maybe your your top three? It doesn't gotta be in any specific order, but we talking food or drinking? Oh yeah, all right. I, you know we'll we'll do two separate then. Mm, do you, okay. do, you can do separate food in? in food, uh, I'm drinking. a big Gino's diehard guy, but I think Pizza Cat's kind of taken over on the like the Gino style yeah. pizza. Obsessed with it. Rudy's till I die because I'm a West Toledo guy. And then, uh, dude, what's another good spot? I mean, Rumors is fire. I like the portions at Rumors. I love Mediterranean food. Dude. Dude, all the, the euros there, bro. <laughs> dude, they're huge. Yeah. Bro. 15 bucks, you just get that Euro platter and can eat for like a week. It's heavy. It's heavy <laughs> when it shows up. Bro, those are probably my top, or maybe Barry's bagels. I probably got to throw Barry's in yeah. there just because I got sentimental. Me and my mom back when we were, she was doing her single days thing when it was just me and her, we used to go to Barry's like once a week and, and feast. And so I just got some sentimental love over there for Barry's. I can dig that. And then as far as you like your, your drinking spots, man, what, what do you got? I go to the attic. That's my like number one go to cool. spot really just the attic dude like the <laughs> uptown spots or whatever because all the other spots are just like too packed and too loud for me i'm kind of like a grouch when it comes to drinking attic, so yeah. i like like hanging out and talking when things are too loud so four horsemen if you like like little like kind of you, ever, you guys ever know you guys know about the four horsemen I've, I've never been but a guy I used to work with swears that they have the best burgers in town bro I've fantastic never, burgers never i just mentioned them in a video the other day yeah i used to go there every friday with my parents because they had these big fat tasty burgers on fridays for like Four dollars burger and fries. You get a beer for like a buck fifty or something stupid. Yeah. Like, best deal in town, bro. Those tiny neighborhood bars that you can get in West Toledo, they're, they're fire. Every time. Um, I don't know because it's been a little bit since you guys did like a little Toledo run. Obviously, we're still kind of dealing with the the pandy. But if you guys <laughs> ever do do uh, you know a little Toledo journey through, I got three spots that you guys definitely got to check out. Lay them on um, me, bro. Number one being Big Apple Deli. Bro, um, Big Apple Deli, the best deli in the universe. Best chili <laughs> I had in my life, bro. Their chili is so good. French, their French onion soup is phenomenal. Um, probably the best. Um, <laughs> what else do they have that I like? We, we pretty much, pretty much any every sandwich. Time home, dude. Every time we go home, we try to go there. And I went to go to Stretch over and, um, you know, I'm kind of an adopted East Sider from going to school over there with all those East Side little dirty little runts that i run, run around with in high school <laughs> yeah. and they all live for big apple deli runts. <laughs> <laughs> dude big apple deli is the truth dude vex best best reuben best reuben around 100 um but next door to big apple deli is a place called Smokies. it's a barbecue joint um, used happened. to resent them for a long time because they they replaced what used to be a ponderosa and that place i you know has holds a special place in my heart um Smokey's really good out. ribs though yeah really good like barbecue stuff brisket ribs you know it wasn't super expensive either 
Really no, not that pricing. bad. Just, yeah. You know, barbecue can get pricey quick. Right. Easy. Um, and then the last one is just what, what I think is the best Mexican joint in the city in San Marcos. San you go across, Marcos, you go across that bridge, you know, um, the high level, you cross a pistol. There. Um, yeah, you know, just in case there's some kind of, you know, weaponry. Did and you go then, there old uh, school? I, I used to date this Hispanic chick that took me there back when you only could order in Spanish. And it was just that <laughs> like four banger bar. Like it only had like four five, six seats there before they like knocked yeah. down that whole wall and put in that restaurant. You ever go when it was old school like that? <laughs> I didn't know. I, the only time, because when, when I go there, they like, you got to walk through and it's an entire like Mexican grocery store, including Dude, it like. It used to be in the back of the grocery store. It yeah. was just a little walk up counter space with like five or six little uh, bar stools that you could eat at. And then now they like knock down that whole wall and they got the yep. restaurant and stuff, but it used to be only like eight seats and literally like gringos like me couldn't come in and order shit. Like you had to speak <laughs> it, bro. It was awesome. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, that That's by far, I think the best Mexican food. Okay, so I got Other another than... one I got to try in uh, okay. Toledo that my, my dude AJ is like big foodie. He's an East Sider from Toledo, loves food. He says there's an East Side place, a uh, Mexican spot, that he's like the only white guy who's ever been there in the history of this place that's like hella dangerous. No. Like you got only drive there when it's daylight out. But it, he swears, he said it's better than San Marcos. I haven't tried it yet, but it's like on my list of spots I need to try in Toledo. I wonder I'll if it's a taco it. truck. It's not a truck. Not, it's an actual oh, no? building. And it's like one lady works there and like her, her like son who's got – disabilities or something who just kind of hobbles around and picks up trash but i gotta get the space and uh i'll have to email it to you i would love to know what that place was i live yeah, on the west too. side but, but stayed on the east side for a long time too oh there you go so i'm wondering where puffing them refinery where... fumes <laughs> oh, yeah. love sunoco yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> san marco's um, the three great spots i did have another question too because i i was late to your guys's podcast uh, up until like maybe six months ago, unemployables, and I started listening, and it, it was pretty cool. But then I realized that like for some reason the, the actual like podcast feed, there's only three episodes. I was wondering why like the rest of the episodes. Oh, I'm surprised were, like, they're up there. Were moved on because so, I know well, I know you you like kind of replaced the the YouTube channel with what you're doing now. But yeah, yeah. Only, so like, we like three, basically uh, we built that channel up, and then we had like I mean a few hundred, I don't five, know how five sixty I think that many episodes. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, episodes. Oh yeah, we had, uh, I don't know. We had a lot of episodes out there. Yeah. I mean, yeah. a year's so worth. 50, 60, 50, 70, 60. Yeah. And then we um so we like stopped doing the podcast, but we had that audience. So then me and Zacho, because Zach was part of that whole thing. I don't know if you guys are familiar with him at all, but we had a third person part of that unemployable spot. He's another Toledo guy. He's huge in the stand-up world in uh Chicago right now. He's just been absolutely slaying it out here. So me and him partnered up and he's got a stand-up show that we're now getting footage for and like creating like digital stand-up content essentially so we're like well shit we got this youtube channel for the unemployables it's got 570 whatever yeah, subscribers true. so we just hid all the unemployables content the podcast content and are just rebranded that as like now it's uh like sorry for killing which is the stand-up show so that's the only reason that stuff's gone otherwise we'd still have it out there but we're like eh, the mm -hmm. podcast died so that's a smart move, man. Because well, another guy that I listen to, like podcasts and, and watch, he's a comedian, Andrew Schultz. Like he basically blew the fuck up from doing exactly what you're talking about, like just throwing all his like stand up bits and stuff on his YouTube channel, and like that thing grew like crazy. So that seems to be the move for us doing that. A hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's seems fantastic. to be how how things are moving nowadays, rather than just like you know doing a special, however you know every every year or whatever. So that seems to be kind of the move now so right but yeah i was just curious because i i had listened to like the, i think it was like the three or maybe there's four episodes so on, on the you know the apple podcast feed or whatever oh, and, uh, went to look for us but the rest of them are gone yeah I'm, i was i was curious about that but um i got one more thing and then we'll kind of jump in towards towards the end uh, and get you guys out of here but um sean i was i always kind of noticed i know your brother is is a wrestler but it seems like mm -hmm. um, I've always kind of yeah. noticed throughout the videos that you all, you've walked a lot of uh, um, homage shirts, um, oh, yeah. wrestling shirts in general, AEW and all that stuff. So I was just wondering if uh, if you, you I mean do you watch wrestling on the regular or is that just kind of more so 
So um, when my brother first got into it, I like kind of got back, you know, because everybody was watching during like the Attitude Era. So I was like obsessed yeah. growing up. And then, I, you know, when I went to high school and college and I was obsessed with girls, I fell off of wrestling. And then I like got back <laughs> then I got back into it. Like when my brother started taking it really seriously and was training and he went to the House of Truth in Detroit and like became a legit wrestler. So I got back into the storylines again. And then I got obsessed with AEW because I went on Chris Jericho's cruise with my brother the first few times. And so I got really into it. And then now I've kind of tapered off of like the Raw and SmackDown stuff. And I pretty much only keep in, I'm like up on the pay-per-views and then like some dynamite stuff. Cause when CM Punk came to AEW, it was like, as a Chicago kid now, it's like crazy that that's happening. So very much like could have a conversation with anybody about storylines, but I don't, you know how it is. It's like, if you want to be a wrestling fan, you got to watch like 11 hours of TV a week. It's insane. <laughs> yeah, and even yeah, when uh, Meltzer and those guys were on like the cruise, they were like, it's so taxing to be a wrestling fan these days because there's just too much to follow, but I'll always follow like the Roman Reigns stuff. I'll follow the Brock Lesnar stuff. I'll follow anything MJF and CM Punk do uh moxley like that kind of thing and then my brother now is training for a bodybuilding show in detroit so he's taking a break from wrestling and he's gonna have a big return later this spring so like all that stuff is still very near and dear to me but yeah i've fallen off of like the watch monday night raw for three hours that's a, yeah, yeah it's that's, a commitment it's yeah like, like another a, relationship a something. monday night like for three hours i mean i don't need to watch you know some of that sub card stuff is rough so yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah i mean eight, eight to 11 on a monday like that's just like, i can't i can't do that either because i wake up too early especially, to be yeah, staying until 11 30 midnight i'm watching monday night yeah, you I'm watching yeah. Yeah. I'm not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> plus yeah i mean i'm I've, I've obviously like everyone else i grew up kind of being a wwe guy but i'm starting to kind of slowly gravitate towards what oh. AEW is doing just because um, a, i'm obsessed it's, with it's it been i awesome can't so believe far. like what they're doing they're nabbing all these old wrestlers but i will say matt riddle being in the elimination chamber the Corey wagner doppelganger getting yeah, the push 100%. that he deserves people say that all the time i don't yeah. know i've googled yeah him. i feel like I'm yeah like, you guys would because he's a big he's a big pothead too man so you guys hey, 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 yeah. Yeah. I, have, I will say though i've never seen Corey in a social situation barefooted that's like his thing um but until that happens we'll see if there's so a does that does it sean does that make you randy orton then I'm Randy Orton. Yes, we're our okay. big bro. For awesome. sure. yeah. Yeah, yeah, there it is, big. <laughs> yeah. Um. No, that's awesome. Like I said, I've I've noticed through uh, um, videos and stuff, mm -hmm. you you wear a lot of wrestling stuff. So mm -hmm. I definitely had to throw that in there, being being a wrestling guy myself. But, um, Dylan Joe, before we jump into this or that, and uh, get out of here, do you guys have any last questions or anything? Yeah. You want to throw out? Okay. What's up with this international McDonald's? <laughs> oh, dude, it's so sick, right? I, yeah, so I have a question. <laughs> Bro, mind it's blown. so crazy. We we try to go. I bet you we're gonna go back there soon. Very they, soon. they just switched up their menu to have a bunch of new like items in there from. So, like, like what's the deal? Is it literally just from? Yeah, wherever? it's because it's like the corporate headquarters is mm, there. Yeah. yeah. So because it's the corporate headquarters, they just have this McDonald's inside their corporate headquarters that they're like. Yeah, they just make all the shit from around the world. It's so awesome. Every three months, they swip, we swap the menu. So it'll be like fries from Polish McDonald's. It'll be like a burger from Swedish McDonald's. Yeah. So like we get to go and try these random things you can't get here. And then some we, of them are dope. Too. There's so some of, we got like that did you know McDonald's cheese? fried cheese? Yeah, it was like the they yeah, fried what? a cheese patty. Dude, yeah, dude, that, that was nuts. It was yeah. so bro, who doesn't want fried cheese on their fried burgers? cheese patty? <laughs> did you know McDonald's just be selling curly fries outside of America? Yeah. Like how are yeah, they not I, bringing that to America? I like, saw some of this stuff and I'm just like, how is this not a thing? What are you I, doing, McDonald's? What right? are you doing? And some yeah. of them are so good. I don't get like McDonald's should start doing more of that like nationally here yeah. than they should do some of the, like they like yeah. the land, air, and sea thing and the menu hacks. Like I get it. Like that was a thing I personally think they were waiting to do on a slow quarter, and they were like, let's throw the menu hacks thing in. I think they should bring in like this month we're doing the Polish burger. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, right? I think it would crush. Like, I really do. That'd be cool. Me too. That'd be so cool. Yeah, that, the land, air, and sea. Th I don't think I'll ever. I because I watched. <laughs> I watched you guys be on that. I definitely <laughs> rough, won't. Uh, it's won't fine, be but that that's myself. a lot of money. Yeah, no, uh, can't do that. <laughs> Dylan, you got anything? Yeah, just kind of taper off that. I was just going to just say, like, we mentioned it last week on the McDonald's aspect of them, like, creating menu items that have already been created by the 
fan base of McDonald's itself, like creating like the what was it the McDouble or something with the big chicken inside of it? Yeah, like we've been doing yeah, it for the, years. That was the McGangbang. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. such yeah. cowards. They're such cowards. By the way, they won't call it a McGangbang. Those cowards. I don't. I, don't mean, <laughs> I was I was asked to leave a McDonald's for ordering that once. The, the mix sent. The oh, mix. That's hilarious. Consensual. Yeah. Consensual. Well, I don't understand they're doing the hash brown Mc, McMuffin. Like, come on, dude. We've been doing like, that for been doing that. 20 yeah. years. Yeah. yeah. It's a no-brainer. Thinking you're smart. <laughs> right. Yeah. But and also, I wanted to also ask if or where the name number six with cheese generated from. Is it like your favorite item from your favorite restaurant or anything like that that happened to be number six? Or do you like cheese? Super um, random. So we okay. like basically – we all sat that we both sat down we're like all right we're gonna do this show like let's come up with a name and we each wrote down like five different name ideas and then we got together on a random saturday and we assigned each name for the show to a different team on fifa and then played a fifa tournament and whichever team won whatever name was associated so it's just random i just wrote down things that i thought sounded good and i was just like number six with cheese that rolls off the tongue like that that's a good one and that just ended up winning the uh fifa tournament First, I thought it was a play off of GTA San Andreas with Big Smoke's order. Oh, oh, order. Cool. So, like, actually, maybe we start telling maybe we start telling that story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be like, yo, well, actually, our uh, our correspondent Joe's gonna take this one real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to get my email game up. Yeah, that's <laughs> ask, ask, ask Patrick Welby for some tips. Yeah, yeah. Dude, take his, his patent you just gotta class. Yeah, yeah. say cheers and yeah, salutations and all I'm that. Just all that yeah, the what, what is this, Charlotte's Top. web, dude? What are we doing? Yeah. <laughs> Top of the day. Um, so now we're going to have you guys enter the TSP arena, gentlemen, um, okay. where we're going right. to play a little this or that. And we'll, you know, we'll break this up. To, um, I'll ask a bunch to... I'll start out with you, Corey, and then we'll we'll finish it out with Sean, and then we'll have one more question, and then we'll get you guys out of here. Let's do it. Um, let's, uh, Dylan, we got the sound for that, or are we just rolling? I got the intro, but I'll add the clock after post-production. Okay, that's fine. All right, Corey, here we go. We're going to start off. Right. Coke or Pepsi? Coke all day. Good steak or good burger? Ooh, good burger. Fall or spring? Uh, Gotta love me some fall. Breadsticks or rolls? Oh, breadsticks, dude. I'm not a fool. Orange or apple juice? Orange juice. Breakfast or dinner? Ooh, breakfast. Got to be greasy, though. Netflix or YouTube? Uh, that's a tough one. YouTube. Music or podcasts? Music all day. Apple or Android? Uh, Android because I'm poor. <laughs> <laughs> cake or pie? Ooh, that depends on the cake. It depends on the pie, but overall, I'm going to have to go with pie. Loyalty or respect? Bro. Dude, being from Toledo, you got to say both. But loyalty to the bone. Toledo cats are always loyal. Sneakers or sandals? Oh, my God. <laughs> these are so tough, dude. These are uh, good. I'm kind of a hippie, but I also like sneakers. Hippie overrules going with sandals. Um, couch or recliner? Oh, recliner, dude. Um, money or free time? Free time. Don't care about money. Too poor. Can candy or popcorn in a movie? <laughs> Oh, candy, dude. I got a sweet tooth. All right, here's the big one here. Over or under toilet paper roll? Okay, so this one I'm a little worried about because I feel like I heard uh, Joe say that he's going to have some strong yeah. opinions on this. <laughs> I'm an over guy. Oh, all right. That's you bad would. or good? Yeah, no, that's that's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. how it should be, okay, 100%. Good. I, I was sweating on that one, bro. I heard Joe had <laughs> strong opinions on that. I got a little nervous. Yeah, dude. And since you're you're the um, you're the married guy, the two will ask XVids or P-Hub. Wait, did you hear what Sean just asked? He wanted to know if over or under was wiping front to back or back to front. Uh, yeah. That's what he thought. Uh, the question. Isn't that, I isn't that a, a separate is question? I would have asked more like standing or sitting. Wiping <laughs> yeah. Or... Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. What was the last question? I missed that one. Um, like I said, since you're the married guy of the two, you might have a little more experience with this. Or, I mean, you were a teenage guy oh, at some point, know. too. X vids <laughs> or P hub? Wait, sorry, what? Sorry. X, X vids or P hub? So you weren't too far off. Oh, P hub all day, bro. All right. So it wasn't too bad. And so we'll, we'll see. So that, that last one wasn't too far off from what you said. What? I mean, that could, that could jump off into a whole other thing. I just yelled at that on a Saturday. Yeah, that was what the question was going to be. You, like I said, hey, you know, with open sites, it doesn't take too far to find that exact word. And, and That's front page shit so, right there. Uh, <laughs> Dude, that, I will say that uh, candy over popcorn answer really shocked me. 
That's wild that it shocked you, bro. Popcorn's dumb. What? <laughs> oh, wait. Popcorn okay. Interesting. I, I guess wow. this is a good thing. I get to I learn more about it. Big, big Farm is just subsidized and they're <laughs> going to <laughs> <laughs> big popcorn. Big, <laughs> big popcorn. <laughs> big popcorn. They're out here. Big popcorn, bro. Grill. You got to watch out. Yeah. Sorry. I'm gonna <laughs> <get it. laughs> All right. So What's here we go. Uh, super, super sandwich. Oh, sandwich. What? Soup? Fire. Hey, no, um, now this is, when you're when you're sleeping, fan or no fan? Uh, ooh, uh, I want to have a fan, but I'm in a relationship now, so no fan. Wow. Well, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> that tells you a lot about uh, this relationship. Dude. Uh, TV shows or movies? TV all day. Bret Hart or Shawn Michaels? <sighs> uh, Bret Hart. Iced or hot coffee? Fuck. Uh, hot because it's winter. Scary or funny movie? Funny. Jeans or sweats? Uh, sweats. It was my go-to. It was my thought. Sausage or bacon? Sausage. Board games or card games? Ooh, card games. Sweet or savory? Savory all day. Beer or liquor? Beer. Cookies or brownies? Uh, I think I'd reach for a cookie first. I'm going to go cookie. Yeah. All right. We got a couple more. Uh, Batman or Spider-Man? Spider-Man, Marvel. Taco Bell or Burger King? Taco Bell over everything. Um, and then we'll finish off with The Office or Parks and Rec. The Office is my favorite show of all time, but Parks and Rec is like third. But Office. Okay. Those all right. Fun, you guys I can now like get it out fun, of like the arena. Um, we're going to put up a picture in the TSP arena that's just going to strictly say anal and then you know Corey Wagner right on there. So yeah, there appreciate that. Was anal yeah, thank you for anything that. or just anal by itself? I just no. I he just, just threw it out. There was no. <laughs> he just, he just, he just yelled anal for some yeah, reason. That's all he did. Um, but to end it off, I, I asked the question that we ask each guest at the end of each episode, um, and that is, knowing what you know today, what is one thing you would tell your eighteen-year-old self? Do you want to go first or second? I don't care. Uh, I'll go first thing. Okay. Just because I feel like it. Um, <laughs> I would say. It's I, just keep working. It's really, if you work at some stuff and put in the time, I mean, it's been a long time since I was 18. I'm like about to be 35. So 17 years. Mm -hmm. If you work hard at something for 17 years, you're going to do okay. So as long as you keep working, don't worry about the rest. Mine would be break up with the girl you're currently dating and stop obsessing over her. She doesn't matter. No, um, <laughs> mine would be to stop doubting yourself. I think for a long time when I was younger, I thought there was some like, grand scheme of like the way things needed to be to be successful and to be happy and it's just to like literally stop doing that have fun go do stuff like keep creating put so yeah put the hours in stop thinking so much i'm such an overthinker so yeah stop overthinking just go do have fun that's funny up. i feel like we had the same answer yeah, in, that, in a way yeah, interesting yeah i thought we did okay I mean, it must anal. be the right answer, right? Anal, right? I, think right. I think it's the right answer yeah yeah <laughs> And we're the guests, so it is. It is the correct answer. Yeah, we can't. What can we say? We can't, you know. It is what it is. So, you know, anal and just keep working at it or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I should have just said do anal. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but that's that's all we got for you guys. Um, this has been pretty awesome. Um, you know, yeah, so much. Have you guys so on. Hey, you guys Big fans of the that. show. Yeah. You guys are the best. Um, before we do get you guys out of here, just, you know, plug it all from the main channel, you guys' own channels, all that good stuff so people can, can flock and check out what you guys put together. Yeah. yeah, we're all over the place, right? Number Six with Cheese on YouTube, on Facebook, on most of our socials. I think on Twitter it's NO6 uh, with Cheese. Um, yeah, that's all the main place to follow us at. And then for personals, Corey Wagner on YouTube. That's the main stuff that I'm putting content on. If you want to follow me on Instagram or anything like that, Corey Wagner Chicago. Yeah, and then Hey Sean Ely is the YouTube channel and all the handles. But yeah, go watch number six with cheese every day. Make it a part of your daily thing in the week. Um, that's what the show is kind of meant for is to be your little fun 10 minute escape. So anybody that watches, reach out. We respond to everybody. Yeah. There it is. And take it from me. Um, that's exactly what I do. I'll, I'll work, come home, and uh usually, you know, we'll I'll throw a dinner down and uh, you know, throw the, the latest video on and it's a kind of a little twelve to fifteen minute kind of uh you know unwinding you know session it, it's all pretty awesome so uh, i definitely recommend checking those guys out let's get some good stuff but Corey, sean uh thanks again for giving us you know some of your time and coming on and talking some shop with us we uh we had a lot of fun we really yeah, appreciate yeah, it and uh, yeah, dude. keep going up and we will tell you too 
we have this thing that we've kind of found out. It's called the TSP Rocket. And pretty much anytime we have a guest on, whatever endeavor or thing that they're doing gets significantly better. So just get ready for a whole shit ton of subs and, and views and stuff. Oh, okay. I'll from. take that. I don't know that what it is that happens. That it's just the TSP Rocket. Yeah, hop on. Oh, there we go. The air horse still yeah. rocking. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> just get ready. Yeah, yeah. well, um, me well, and Joe are, and then um, Dylan here, he's from the Toledo area, but he right now he lives out by Dayton. So. Dayton County. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I'll let you guys know. If we we're, we got to be planning another, another Toledo trip at some point. So, yeah. we'll let you guys know when we come through and uh, swing out and hit up the attic or something, grab some beers. When we get all awesome. sneezing yeah. each other's faces yeah. without any consequences. Yeah, yeah. There yeah. we go. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh, so, uh, that'd be awesome. Yeah. But. That's my cool like, part one there. What do you mean? I like sneezing in people's faces. It's a Michigan thing, I guess. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. They do I'm cool with the beers. I'll probably dip out after the sneezing yeah. starts. And then we'll that's greet each other. You know, us us uh, five, we'll, we'll kind of do like a cowabunga thing, but we'll yell anal. Yeah. 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 So, if there's a way yeah. we can get all three of you in the back seat for the show, that'd be really great. Yeah. Let's stop uh, with the GoPros. Well, I don't know if that's going to work. I'll be right in the middle. I'm yeah, Dylan, you'll have to lay it yeah, lay across to us. But... Talk shop sandwich in the back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but Dylan, um, no. you know what to do, man. As always, baby. Episode 132 in the books. Thank you again, Corey, Sean, uh, for giving us some of your time to talk shop with us. It's been a pleasure. The pleasure was all ours. Be sure to show them some love. Show us some love. Um, we are on all social platforms: the TikTok, Instagram, Twitter being the main. Uh, at Talking Shop Pod, and also starting to bloom a little bit on YouTube as well. So those seeds have been planted. Hopefully, they can bloom into a beautiful YouTube channel. So go show some love. Thanks again. Have a wonderful week, friends. Take care. Bye, guys.